Henrique Album Korea's tripods, a remarkable first representation of the war machines in the War of the Worlds. Unlike any other adaptation, Henrique Album Korea's illustrations had many different shapes and designs. Having many of his images shot at several different angles, his tripods truly stand out. So how am I supposed to do all that with the tripod I have right now? So if I get the head out real quick, I can show you a few things. So one, it's insymmetrical. As you can see, there are several different faults in the tripod design. Like for instance, the tank thing at the bottom. And plus, while I was working on this, it took a hard, it took a long time to work on this. So, so I'm not really planning on doing any other angles with these kinds of tripods because it's too difficult. So, I might make um, a simpler tripod that would be easier to recreate in several different angles. Other than that, this part, this tripod's pretty chill. Introducing Tripod Hood 2.0 Okay, so first I'm going to point out the differences. Okay, so as you can see, here's our original tripod dude. He's got those. Okay, first of all, oh. Okay, let me just move these real quick. Okay, that, that out of the way. First of all, we got this bottom container thing here. It's asymmetrical. So is this, so are the black shadows, and so is the entire thing itself. It's because I traced it um, straight off of the drawing, so nothing will ever be perfect like that. But yeah, that's the that's that tripod. So now I'm gonna move on to the the new one. This one has many different versions. It has this one, and then it has this one. It's a bottom view. So, just unlike the other one, this one's actually symmetrical. So, um, here's a quick comparison. If you look closer, you can see that the bottom tank container thing is symmetrical. So is a separate piece, and so is the head and the hood. What should I call it? I don't know. Oh, let me give it eyes. Okay, there you go. He lo he's looking kind of goofy. So, yeah. Um, I'm, I might use this. I might animate more of this one than the other one. But the other one might reappear in special occasions. Okay, so now I'm going to make an actual proper tripod with this new head. Um, I'm going to see what I can do with my already existing nodes, the legs, and the arms. So really what I do with my tripods um, is simple. I just have multiple invisible joints and they connect um, the, the head to several other nodes. So please enjoy this clip of me making the tripod with some background music. <laughs> Okay, so here's the finished result. Um, it's not that much, but it's honest work. Um, so this new um head is pretty powerful. This actually looks like a proper tripod from the illustrations. So now I'm gonna make another one with a different angle. So um, as you can see, there's three different types of head. There's a regular one that we just saw. This is the overhead view, which is um, the hood over his head. And then the one back there that's getting bigger, this is the um, bottom view where you can see the, uh, the bottom of the hood. So um, I'm going to make another tripod and I'll see what I can do.
Okay, guys, so this is the finished result. Um, the bottom view is really good. Like, it just puts in a sense of originality into the tripods. So, I might be using this head a lot in the series. But, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to use the other head. The other head still will still be in um, use. And I might upload the other head to um, stick notes if any of you guys want to use it. So, um, yeah, that's the tripod. That's the new tripod. But this isn't the only tripod head I'm gonna use, since Alvin Korea put many other tripods in the book. Unlike the other, um, adaptations of The War of the Worlds, Henry Calvin Korea's illustrations actually has a variety of tripods. So, I might make each and every one of them. So, yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching me make another tripod. Oh. <laughs>